Honorable Speaker, for giving me the floor, I also want to join my colleagues to thank the committee for the work that they have done and the troubles that they've gone through. Uh, I'm also going to join some of my colleagues on the observations that they made on the selections for both uh, the standing committees and also the international delegation. For me, as Combo South, defense is a priority for us. Over the last five years, six people were killed in Combo South and nothing happened to it. The Standing Committee on Defense, the work has not been completed and nothing is done. A young man of 28 years was killed in a day broad line, taken to the security at Joshua, and he was left and escaped the prisons. The minister promised that they are going to look into that, and that report is not out. That is Buba Drami who killed Buba Jamne in Gunjur. Honorable Speaker, for the security committee to be led by the Honorable City K. Jai, Honorable Speaker, point of order. I am not allowing you, please. No, <laughs> uh, okay. Honorable Member, if it is a point of observation, you can allow or disallow. A point of order, may we hear the point of order, please? Plus 18 point of order. Any member deviating from this standing order may be immediately called to order by the speaker by any other member rising point of order. Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Member is deviating from the main topic, which is the. Your point of order. Your... Please, 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 Honorable <laughs> Member. Remember what Alale amansa andi Bari wali ya mamari mulo Ye 
security and will not be a threat to the Gambian people. So I am going with the suggestion that we have somebody to head that committee to enable us to do the work that is standing. It is not only Kambasau. So many people died over the fifth legislature and nothing is wrong. Honorable Speaker, I also want to concur with my colleagues on the Committee on Education at ICT. We have very many unfinished businesses when it comes to education in this country. It is about time that we are serious about the educational processes that is going on. So I want to suggest that Honorable Mbo, who have worked tirelessly with that committee, to still continue to work with Honorable Yaya Kasama, to lead this committee to enable us to complete the unfinished businesses that is hanging in this country. We have a threat at the moment. Students are not sitting to their exams because they will not be part of that process. So I think, Honorable Speaker, it is important that for us as National Assembly members and to make the approval, we have people who have the institutional memory to be able to take this committee to high heights and be able to position us as Gambians so that we are best placed with the West African region to enable the work to continue. And I want to support that idea to bring back Honorable Dasama to be part of this committee. Honorable Speaker, I think the selection committee did not listen to advice. They have done the parliamentary delegations. They have plowed the rules of those parliaments, and they have come up with their own decision, which is not in the best interest of the Gambian people. The Supplementary Act of 2016, which was signed by Honorable Baladaba Jaunda on behalf of the President of the Republic of the Gambia, is very clear on presentation to the Equus Parliament. It is very clear. A member when sworn in will may be a member of this Equus Parliament until the end of that legislative year. You cannot change it. You cannot change it and it cannot be changed. Who are saying that former Speaker of the National Assembly was a member of the Equus delegation was before this thing came into effect. This one came into effect in 2016. Honorable Fatima Gahumpa Sise was not a member of the National Assembly. I think people need to understand they do not miss oranges and apples together, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I am with the view that the monitoring of projects in this country, it is about time that we are serious. A lot of money is in going into this project. How can we have somebody to be chairing that, that committee who will not have any background on infrastructural development and we are losing millions. The procurement processes are not done on the right way. So, Honorable Speaker, I want to decline and give that position to Honorable Sanyan, who has been a seasoning procurement officer and project officer to lead that project subcommittee on project monitoring and implementation to have effectiveness and the money that the Gambian people are going to pay back are put in better use. Honorable Speaker, I want to remind this, remind this National Assembly that it is important that we look at the capacity and the dedication and commitment of people. Honorable Swati Kure has done a lot of work with constitutional, the Committee on Constitutional Matters, I mean, Human Rights and Constitutional Matters. So I think it is important that we give them that view to enable them to take us to the next steps because we have a lot of human rights issues in this country and we need to work to work so that we help them to be able to work to ensure 
that human rights issues of this country are solved, and we can only do that when we have competent people and people who have the person and who are committed to do this work. Honorable Speaker, I want the committee to look at this thing and bring it to Honorable Speaker to lead that process. Honorable Speaker, to conclude, I want to move the motion without notice that all those who are selected now to the international 53K, Honorable Speaker, Okay, to those who are selected to be in the international parliamentary delegations, will be called on to give a minute speech as to why do they think they are the best and what do they know about that legislative way that they are going to. Honorable Speaker, that's my motto.